Mojang removed blocks every Minecraft update, and you haven't even noticed. Like all of these, which I've added back in. So subscribe, and here are 46 Minecraft blocks they had to get rid of. Number one, before command blocks were even a thing, teleport blocks were in an official version of the game. These blocks would instantly transport you to different ones using a menu. Home blocks would take you to your house, and spawn blocks would let you change the spawn point. Mojang removed these when making the new education edition, but they would have made transportation so much quicker. Number two, Minecraft used to have these two textures. They clearly look like a chair and a table, and this is what they could have looked like in 3D. Weirdly, wheat used to look like this if it somehow grew more than it should. Mojang later on banned all furniture from being added to Minecraft. Number three, when Minecraft was first being planned, Mojang were going to add spikes that extended and retracted. They would have basically been spiked pistons, but these were replaced with sticky pistons. A developer said in 2012 that they'd like to add spikes, but weren't sure how they'd work. 1.17 finally added dripstone, but you can't even push the spikes. Come on, Mojang. Number four, doing this looks pretty cursed, but the portal block used to allow something very similar. These worked just like normal nether portals, but acted like fence posts, allowing for some nice looking designs. When portals were first added, you could place them like a full block too. It's good that Mojang removed them before someone tried to light one of these. Number five, back in in-dev versions, there was a house with chests containing stacks of 100 water and lava blocks. These were dangerously glitchy. Mojang even called the lava ones volcano blocks because of how deadly they were. Place one of these bad boys in your world and if you can't stop it, say goodbye to your precious Minecraft house. The water blocks would spread even faster, but both types could be soaked up with a bit of sponge. Number six, soul fire was added in the nether update, but another soul block was completely scrapped from the game. Unused particles existed that looked just like lava particles, but blue. This means soul lava might have been found in soul sand valleys in an unreleased version. It could have been able to flow faster or dealt more damage like soul fire does. Mojang removed it before we ever got to find out, so we just have to speculate. Number seven, this next one permanently broke entire worlds. Placing one of these would crash the game and render your hard work worthless instantly. You might think it's a normal hopper, but looking from beneath will show that it points in no direction. Luckily, the only way to place this was with the set block command. Though Mojang probably should have tested it thoroughly before risking the world of anyone who just wanted to try the new hoppers. Number eight, ice and snow can get in the way, especially with 1.17 snowier snow. So when you need to clear some away, the heat block would have been great for warming up the area. If Mojang hadn't removed it, that is. This feature was made exclusive to the education edition, but there's an actual reason for it. Like real life hand warmers, the iron inside oxidizes and releases heat. There's some real life chemistry in a Minecraft video. Number nine, this block looks like gray concrete, but it's not. It's called reserved six or dot name as it was known at the time. When fire spread in pocket edition, sometimes it would create this block. Pocket edition also had these two secret blocks. One says update, which would show up when a block was removed by an update, but still placed in the world. The other says eight upped, so that together they say update. Number 10. Loads of unique blocks were added in the Buzzy Bees update. Something that bees make other than honey that Mojang didn't add is beeswax. They added a texture for a wax block in a snapshot version, but it was removed because it wasn't even meant to be added. Mojang possibly tested it out, but couldn't think of a proper use for it. They should have added it in 1.17 as a crafting ingredient for candles. Number 11. Sometimes it's difficult to see where a village starts and ends, but with village border blocks, that's no longer a problem. They were seen in a demo at a convention, and the textures remained in the files for years. However, there's no footage in existence of them in action, so it's difficult to know if these were placed like redstone to trap villagers or if they just generated naturally. The blocks would be nice on servers to confine players into a small space before a challenge starts. Please help me. Number 12. Speaking of borders, a red variant of walls called border blocks are found in the education edition but not in the main game. You can't walk under them or fly over them, unless you're a teacher. These would also be great for servers, but Mojang won't let us have them for some reason. All mobs are stopped apart from the ender dragon, which just flies straight on through. Oh, and ender pearls let you escape lessons as well. Stay in school. Number 13. This one's more than just a block. It's inside a block. Beacons were going to have this little rotating cube inside, which looked like an end crystal. This had to be removed by Mojang to stop lag since loads of enchantment tables can destroy the game. So imagine what would happen with loads of these. A blue cube inside is a bit more boring though. Number 14. What happens when the volcano blocks and water blocks from earlier collide? They make gears. Yeah, gears were in the game before redstone. You could only break them with an explosion, so 
they were pretty tough to remove. Breaking the block behind it would just make the gear invisible. Eventually, Mojang removed them, and every world with gears suddenly had them replaced with redstone. Number 15. You might think we've already got enough slabs in the game. A good few were removed, however. The first ever slab variant added was removed straight away. Dirt slabs were added so the terrain could be a little smoother, but it didn't work for cliffs, so the feature had to be removed. Coral slabs got shown at Mike on Earth, but Mojang removed those too. The Etho slab was added in an April Fool's update. They work like TNT and spawn anvils above players. Number 16. If you're greedy like me, you'll know the feeling of cake running out. What if you could just keep on eating it forever? That's what used to be possible, allowing you to create an inverted cake block. You could see inside the cake and the appearance changed every version. For Minecraft's 10th birthday, a big white concrete number 10 was added to the top of cakes for a few days before being removed again. Number 17. Ants used to be in Minecraft. You're thinking, that's a mob, but it was actually a block. It will turn right on white concrete and left on black concrete, changing the colour as it goes. The pattern seems random at first, but it will always eventually create a highway. The same April Fool's update also had netherite stairs called swaggiest stairs ever, if you're looking for something a bit more silly. Number 18. Another removed block is the zone from the 20W14 infinite snapshot. The block is invisible and emits happy villager particles. Any mob or player that enters the zone will get blindness to and poison four for three seconds. You can't use pistons to move zones or place blocks in there, but they do affect the gravity of items thrown inside. The same update also had a cursor block that switched colour every second, and boxes of books full of random text. What were Mojang thinking to come up with this stuff? Number 19. Signs used to be mobs. Well, sort of. When signs were first added, they looked like this. Pressing B would drop a sign and it would bounce along the ground. This was an early test, as you can see from the message that was printed on every sign. Not much point having signs if you can't write on them. Signs used to have a 15 letter limit, so writing this would cause the letters to hang off the edge. Number 20. TNT slabs are cool, but even cooler is Super TNT. This was seen in Minecraft Story Mode and was used to craft the Formidibon. Story Mode also had a few impossible banners, window blocks, and don't forget about the Witherstorm. Number 21. It feels like wool has been in the game forever. You might not know that there was a totally different block before wool was around. Cloth was the original version of wool, with colours like Chartreuse, Ultramarine, Spring Green, Capri, Rose, and way more. You used to use these blocks to craft cloth armour, which was renamed to leather armour when leather was added. For some reason, white cloth was one of the last ones added, and there was never any black cloth, just dark grey. Number 22. We all know that torches break in water. This can be both useful and an absolute pain. When it gets annoying, underwater torches could be the solution. They could be, but Mojang restricted them to the education edition. They're made with a torch and magnesium. In real life, magnesium and iron oxide create thermite, which burns underwater. So many chemistry facts in one video. You can use sodium to make blue underwater TNT too. Number 23. Speaking of torches, Mojang also added coloured torches to the education edition. Blue, red, purple, and green ones are made using metal chlorides. They don't even emit coloured light, so they're a bit of a scam. Torches used to burn out after a while for April Fool's 2013. They were going to burn out after the 2010 Halloween update, with lanterns replacing normal torches, but luckily this never happened. Number 24. When Mojang are making blocks, they sometimes need special textures to make it easier to test things. They left two of these in the files, creatively named Debug and Debug 2. Using a piston to push a bubble column in some snapshots caused Debug 1 to appear. What the symbols mean on Debug 2 is unknown, but it does look a little like this early sandstone texture. Number 25. Unlike the unique chest animation, opening a barrel only shows a dark circle. Two secret textures for barrels were added. One shows a square hole for the barrel, and the other shows the same square but filled with fish. These were removed, but are now in Minecraft Dungeons, where barrels look even cooler. Number 26. When you place a bell on the ground, it's held by two stone poles. These used to be made of planks. Another update secretly added versions of bells with granite polished granite and diorite frames, meaning that Mojang may have intended for bells to be craftable using these items. There wasn't even an andesite one, which is really odd. Number 27. The end dimension is packed full of endstone, but it used to look a lot more like this. The white cobblestone was added before endstone and was called white stone. Mojang had to remove this and replace it with endstone, which is easier to see and just an inverted version of cobblestone. This white texture here looks like wool, but it was added in the same version as clouds, so it might have been for those. Number 28. This spawner right here is actually a chest. When a mob spawner generates in the same block space as a chest, the two combine and look like a pig spawner. It doesn't actually spawn any pigs, and the only way to access the items inside is with a hopper. There was also a version where signs and spawners had the same ID, causing this to happen. Number 29. You'd think Minecraft has enough variants of blocks with slight changes. There are 23 types of stone brick, for example. Mojang still added more to Minecraft dungeons, but won't be adding these to the main game. Some blocks are unused in that game for obvious reasons. 
reasons. There are loads of unique blocks, so look out for them next time you play dungeons. Number 30. Although Minecraft says it's 90% bug free, some broken blocks have slipped through the cracks at points. This invisible block here is actually a set of stairs. They weren't very good at being stairs though, because you could walk right through them. Eventually, Mojang removed these phantom stairs and replaced them with upside down stairs. This block looks like oak planks, but it's a bit broken because clicking it drops a button. After placing it again, it looks like this. Number 31. Minecraft's biome votes from over the years have teased a bunch of new blocks that got cancelled because not enough people voted for them. Two types of trees that Mojang mentioned were baobab trees in savannas and palm trees in deserts. The Badlands biome would have been given cacti with really cool designs and tumbleweed blocks which somehow would have rolled. Number 32. 1.17's tinted glass blocks were originally an April Fool's joke where you could change the colour of glass but couldn't see through it anymore. This was added and removed even before stained glass existed. Also, hardened glass was added to the education edition. This is as blast resistant as endstone and takes 15 seconds to mine with your hand. So many new types. Number 33. You wouldn't expect vines to grow in caves. That's probably why Mojang removed this next block. These are root vines, which would have grown from the top of caves. This texture was left in a snapshot version and the vines look pretty similar to glow berries, but without the berries. Or the glow. Another forgotten 1.17 feature was the calibrated skulk sensor. It looked like a semi-transparent amethyst block, but only Mojang know what it did. Number 34. When making a world in Bedrock Edition, you can still select the old world type, which used to be the only option seven years ago. This world used to have a unique type of block called Invisible Bedrock. It's totally unbreakable, just like the visible version, and would spawn around the edge of every world. When in your hand it looked like a flat stone block. Invisible bedrock got removed by Mojang, because now we have border blocks. Number 35. Now this may look like a dead bush, but it's not. In the old days, the dead bush had an alternate version called the shrub. These were more similar to ferns, as they dropped wheat seeds, and were a pixel lower than dead bushes. Another green version was created, and the colour changed based on the bio. Mojang had to remove these glitchy blocks, which also made this a little less confusing. Number 36. Is this block a dispenser, furnace, or dropper? Trick question. It's none of them, and it's about as useless as it sounds. Certain data values used to create furnaces with no direction, meaning no front either. Something more useful is the faceless jack-o'-lantern. You can tell it's not just a normal pumpkin because it glows. These were obtained in the same way, but were removed by Mojang. Number 37. Mojang actually had to remove the grass block at one point. Pocket Edition used to have this grass block that had the side texture on the bottom. It was called Block 253. Block 254 looked like this, which made the crafting table the same colour as leaves. Number 38. In the old days of Minecraft, there were a few chances to see these two blocks that got removed. This one is a placeholder block that used to show up when a block tried to use a non-existent texture. It was changed to this one in 1.5 and then to this purple and black cube in 1.6. Number 39. When you open a door, it's a little awkward how it opens instantly, right? Well, Mojang wanted to make it possible for doors to turn with a nice smooth animation. These turning doors would have had no windows and been made of oak because that was the only type of door at the time. Mojang removed all references to this version of the door in 1.6, when resource packs were added. Number 40. This removed block looks pretty weird, but it was actually Mojang's first ever April Fool's prank. It used to look like this in 2011 and was called the Locked Chest. Opening it brought you to a page showing stuff like a name change, miner's helmet, and even a creeper saddle. You couldn't actually buy these things, luckily. Number 41. What if pistons could do this? Before Mojang removed six-sided pistons, you could get them without even needing commands by using redstone clocks. They never really worked though. Mojang removed some other six-sided variants of blocks, including hay bales, bone blocks, and pillars, all with textures that don't quite make sense. Number 42. Ah, oh, the old days of Pocket Edition. This version from nine years ago had a bunch of blocks that we don't have today. The Nether Reactor Core, crafted like this, would generate a nether spire with mobs and items inside. Glowing Obsidian would also show up. The Stone Cutter looked like this and was added so that the crafting menu wasn't too full. Then Mojang decided to remove it for four years. Number 43. Mojang have changed which blocks correspond to which note block instrument more than a few times. For example, note blocks on bones used to make a bass drum sound before the xylophone instrument was added. Any note blocks from this time period still play the bass drum and can be tuned without changing. There are a few others that do this, making for some confusing tunes. Number 44. You won't believe this, but Mojang removed Acacia Stairs for one update. When 1.7 released, Acacia Stairs were in the game, but you couldn't craft them because Mojang forgot to add in Acacia Planks. This also meant that Acacia and Dark Oaks 
slabs weren't obtainable either. Number 45. In 2016, the trendy update brought us loads of futuristic items for April Fool's Day. One of these was the USB charger block. It was crafted with iron, gold, and redstone, but what did it do? It was basically a futuristic clone of the redstone block, as it would output a constant redstone signal and do nothing else. The redstone doesn't even have to go into the top of the block. Number 46. A Minecraft developer once tweeted out this image, which shows 16 types of coloured planks. He asked, would this be of any use to anybody? Even though 80% said yes please, Mojang banned this feature from being in the game. Watch this video to learn more about these and other banned blocks and items. Also, I've just opened a new Discord. Links below. Subscribe!